Hey everyone, welcome back to the Big Dumpling Restaurant. I've skipped a few days and pushed my automation even further than it's been. So if you liked the video, subscribe and then come say hello on Twitch where I'm probably live right now. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed the video. Very scary. <sighs> Very scary. Do I give up on Trey? I could give up on Trey and take this instead. I think that's better. All right, again. Hey, this looks pretty beautiful. Call desk next to coffee. Oh. Where? Here? Yeah. Pay prediction. You're right. We'll do another one next day. $26 a call. My God. My God. Anyone win anything really big? Fat bets. You know what? I missed my tray stand already. Can I reach copy desk? No, but... Yeah, rip. I cannot. Can also move cracker operation down and put phone under coffee. Cracker operation down. Yeah, I can. Actually, let's do that. And then put something else here. Smart. Any advice for growing on Twitch? Um... Like, it depends on where you are in your growth stage. Let's say you're zero viewers. Like, you're actually nothing on... You have, you have nothing going yet. Then it's all about learning. Learn what is entertaining, right? Why would... I mean, at zero viewers, every person that joins in is quite significant. So if you're not... Like, if you don't understand what makes good content, that viewer is just gone. So... Understanding how to be very reflective and taking a step back and thinking about what would I want to watch has really helped me. So like in the evenings, guys, I, I watch streamers who I admire and I think do a really good job of that. And I think about what works in their chat and what can be applied to mine. Hopefully, you know, it's, 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 it's like any business really. They all do market research. They all understand their competition. And you're trying to fight for the same set of eyes, basically. Not even the same set of eyes. It's such a big pool, right? But you're on the same platform. You might be in the same category. So yeah, you do need to consider, like, I am fighting for the same set of eyes. You've heard consistency too. Hot take. I don't think... Cons I think consistency is a little overrated. Um, okay. So there's this theory, right? And the idea is that if you're a grocery store, a customer, a customer who goes to the grocery store if they arrive twice and they don't have the item they're looking for so if you if they fuck up if the grocery store fucks up twice doesn't have the item in stock that customer is likely to switch grocery stores so if you have that idea with your twitch it helps if you guys click on my stream twice and i'm not there when you expect me to be there's a good chance that you're not coming back really good uh highly recommend having a friend in the stream Okay, also, crazy take. I don't think you should have... I don't, I don't think... I don't agree with that. As someone who does a lot of solo streams, and I've done two-person streams, I like solo streams more because then my second person is chat. Now, the idea is, though, when you're a zero viewer, Andy, there's no one in chat, right? And so who are you talking to? Learn how to just go... Just talk on a tangent. Don't be afraid to just get yabbling. You get yabbling, it gives you practice as well in filling the air. Pokey has talked about her 10 second rule before. Pokey uh, believes that if a streamer doesn't say anything for 10 seconds, it's GG. The stream is bad and it's boring content. That is in some ways true. I don't know if it's exactly 10 seconds, but it is true. You cannot sit there silently and gaming. That, that, that doesn't work anymore. Um, you need to be a little bit entertaining. So Yes, having a friend can be good, but you will not always have a friend there. And most of all, this is not your friend's Twitch account, right? You are not, uh, unless you're gonna give him a cut of the pie, you gotta, you gotta look, you gotta rely on yourself first and foremost at having the content. 
Gavin, you're the only stream I, I allow to save scum. Thank you. But I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> quiet Gav is cool. Scooty's quiet during his streams. That's totally fine. Yeah. And it's all about like, where, to me, talking does not equal content. Always. And content does not always equal talking. In games that require a lot of focus, the focus is not on the conversation. It's more about what's happening on screen. So my general rule of thumb is there always needs to be content happening. So if the game is boring, you better get to talking. And if the game is popping off, you don't have to talk as much. Make sure that you are doing the correct steps to allow that content to keep happening. So if the game is popping off, chat, I'm not gonna get on a ramble and throw the run. I think that's horrible. So yeah, with, with any starting streamer, um, being able to be reflective is, is major, number one. I tell, I, I think the biggest thing you can do to improve your stream is to watch your VODs. If you cannot watch your VODs, something is wrong with your content. It doesn't matter like how humble you are or like if you find it cringy. It, I, I have no sympathy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that the, uh, Gavin switch topics or is that the Gavin preach? This guy's spitting. Well, thank you so much. The anonymous. Anonymous benefactor. I appreciate that. Where was I? Um, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Do I watch my VODs? I watch every single VOD. I watch every single VOD. I even watch VODs of other people when I'm on their stream. Recently, I found out that I have an audio issue in Discord. And I only knew that because I was watching Scoots' uh, VODs and videos. And I sound like shit on his VODs. And I would never would have known unless I peeked in. Oh, it's the Switch the Sap one, right? Yeah, but even when I didn't do videos, I was watching my VOD. And even when it doesn't turn into a video, I still watch that VOD. I just, I don't watch it every single minute, right? But I take note up here, like, oh, there was a couple of interesting stuff. I just want to revisit and double check to make sure it landed the way I wanted it to. And that's an, that's an important thing as well. Having clips really does help. Like when someone clips something or when chat really pops off, Twitch actually shows me the bar chart of when chat is popping. Watch this. Everyone start spamming the number one right now. And then tomorrow I'll show you what it looks like in my analytics. Everyone spam number one. Just go crazy with it for like 30 seconds. Just don't stop. Brrr, everyone, everyone, everyone. And then tomorrow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta fix this. Keep going, keep going. It measures in five minute increments. So we have to get this average higher than it was last five minutes. So keep spamming. Nuts, Hobbs, Sync. Do I want any of this? Uh, Move this down, I said. Move this down. Keep going, keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. It's five minute increments. So we have to get the average at least over like the one minute mark. While you guys are also going crazy here, let's start a prediction. Do we beat this day? Good luck. Seven, two. Yeah, this is good, right? Plant, can plant go somewhere? I wanted Trey back. Put this here. Put this here. Practice mode this. Nice. I can grab. Okay, solid. Okay. And now... Silence. Oh! Pale prediction to start a new one. Buddy, I'm already two steps ahead of you. We're, there's a new one going. Uh, okay, so... Then, as a streamer, you should be going back to your Twitch analytics and seeing what sparked conversation. So tomorrow when I show you this spike, it makes it really easy to revisit the VODs. Um, and you should be cognizant of what made people pog or what made people excited enough to chat, right? And not always will someone be excited to chat, but that's a good indicator of something interesting happened enough to spark someone who was otherwise lurking. Nothing wrong with lurkers. Nothing wrong with lurkers. And, and, and you know, some people really love their lurkers. Some people are like, okay, there's some streams where like, you go, oh, just gonna lurk. And the streamer goes, wow, thank you so much for the lurk. I love the lurk. Wow, 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 amazing. Lurkers are workers. I love it. 
yeah that's fine but wouldn't you rather have a chatter i like lurkers i think they're solid but i like chatters <laughs> i don't like it more and everyone you know i lurk a lot of my streams because i'm a i'm a big second monitor twitch enjoyer i like twitch on my I, I like to do something while i'm watching twitch so i respect it but i don't think you need to gas up lurkers they're gonna lurk they're gonna lurk right it's all good i don't gotta stroke their ego <laughs> anyways so all that to say that it's important to be very mindful of the content you're creating and that content isn't always talking right and and and, and understanding that is gonna make it a little easier as a streamer who even asked this question i totally forget now <laughs> is the person who asked this question even in chat <laughs> i've completely forgotten <laughs> Did this matter for anyone? I feel like I've been talking for 10 minutes about it. <laughs> you zoned? You're trolling. All right. Someone claim responsibility for asking this question because I don't remember who it was. I asked myself. No, you're trolling. It was definitely someone asked me. Maybe I just have these nuggets of wisdom I'm so wanting to share. And since I know I'm never having children, uh, I've got to share them with you. Carry on my legacy, chat. Someone else become an amazing streamer and say, G&G &G inspired me in your, you know, Wired or your Forbes 30 under 30 interview, okay? And then I will die happy. Someone to me, it was me. No, no, don't be sorry. I like that. No, no, I don't want you guys to be my children because then I got to pay child support. And you got me fucked up if you think I'm paying that. <laughs> I'll tell it to the judge on tr when I'm on trial. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you say, also, GNG had nothing to do with this. I was just... Don't even say inspired then. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I take it back. Don't say it in court. <laughs> Time to take an apprentice. No, because then again, I got to pay him. <laughs> You're trolling. <laughs> How about an unpaid intern? I'll take that. <laughs> Be a Sifu. My Sifu used to bully me. I, I used to go to Kung Fu. I went to Kung Fu for like two summers, chat. And uh, the Sifu was so mean and yelled at me in Cantonese the whole time. And I didn't know what the fuck he was saying. But he didn't know how to compliment in English. And he only knew how to criticize. It was just horrible. You think Kung Fu would be very zen, right? Mr. Miyagi sort of situation. No, this guy was so rude. He was an old man. And I didn't learn shit. I didn't learn how to defend myself at all. Because the whole time we were just moving very slow. It was like Wing Chun Kung Fu. So it was like Bruce Lee style. Cranberry sauce? This, what is the red stuff in the mixture by the tray? Cranberry sauce. Yeah, it's a topping for the turkey. Do I know Cantonese or Mandarin anything? I can understand Cantonese. Uh, my talking is pretty rough. Because my accent is pretty bad. But I can understand. I can't understand any Mandarin. Probably because I kept calling him seafood instead of Sifu. Oh. Now I'm piecing together why he didn't like me. <laughs> San... San in Phylock. That's so... That's as good as my Dutch, Jesse. Well done. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> Serve it up. <laughs> no, my Chinese is not very good. Tell you what. I'll teach someone everything I know about online, Twitch, and YouTube. In exchange, though, you got to teach me everything you know about Chinese. Deal? Don't do a research. Don't do research. All I know in Chinese is Ni Hao. Yeah, that's pretty good. Better than nothing. Does the lantern not block orders for me? It does, kind of. But I'm just dealing with it. Because it was such a pain to move last time. Cool. Bottom left lantern's horrid. Okay, I'll move bottom left lantern. You're right. <clears throat> is it wrong if I give you the number to make 
to the local takeout place. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's fucked up. Actually, I just went to a um, Chinese food restaurant, and it was it was not in a Chinese area, but everyone in there was Chinese. Pretty cool. It was this like little pocket where Tegan stood out like a sore thumb. Speaking as rough in Kanto, six different tones. Yeah. So Kanto is very tonal chat. Like, just the way you enunciate the end of it. Okay, so think about asking a question. You know how when we ask a question in English, you sort of end on like a, hell, uh, are you there? And it curves up. So Cantonese is based a lot about those curves. Curves up, curves down, slopes down, slopes down, goes flat. There's a whole variety of them. Um, and those tones indicate different words entirely, not just the inflection. And the idea is that um, different languages have different utilization of these tones. Certain languages are all about the inflection, while other languages, the inflection matters to give context. Pretty interesting. Do I think Kanto is harder than Mando? Uh, hard to judge. Mandarin, though, was... It was the idea behind Mandarin. It was a unifying and simple enough language to unite China, right? That's why they did their national language. They did have a vote and it was almost Cantonese, but it did go Mandarin. I don't know. It more that, You know, that's actually more relevant with the written word. They simplified written word Chinese to make it easier for people to learn. Oh my God. It's fish here. Run two different lines uh, and just go fish, fish. Grabbers, uh, safety hobs, and, and that's it. Pie? You're crazy if it's pie here. Pie, I need to do cherries, pie crust. Flour. Do I have an extra flour anywhere? I do. I have an extra flour. Flour mixer. Do I have room to automate fish? I'll break down some of my research now. Because we're, we're, we are fully maxed. Pie is mixer hob. Fish is... But fish is just two straight lines. Which one's easier to automate? I think fish is... I mean, pie is pretty easy to automate. And I have the extra combiner. It's got to be fish here. I, it could be cherry pie. Wait, let's think about this. Cherry pie, cherry flower are your start. Grab her both down. Hob. No, mixer, combiner. Pie does seem easier, and then they won't order it as much. Fish is two more options for mains. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to go pie here. All right, I'll take it. Pie. Fish will expand into a lot of space. I mean, only... Oh, God, yeah, I could, though. What's the next best main for us? Uh, I cannot give up on teleporter duplication. So if nothing else gets duplicated, it's going to be teleporters and grabbers. What's this? Combiner? I'm going to buy combiner. Fish needs bin with upgrades. It needs bins. It needs portioners. Yeah. It gets a little messy. Let's do a grabber and a teleporter shelf. And then the rest of my blueprints probably go down. Move plant down one. Dude, this song is so much fun. It doesn't have a good message, I'll be honest. Not for the children, but that's okay. We're all adults here, I'm sure. Don't self-snitch now. Hold it in. Avoid saying otherwise. Oh my goodness. Another anonymous benefactor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the gifted sub. I will use that to fund my upcoming pie campaign. Pog! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this will be a pie campaign to end all pie campaigns. There's only a chance they order as well. Right, exactly. It's not a guarantee. Portioner. I don't need this. Okay, how... Oh, prep. Buy prep? Buy grabber? Wait, prep actually went crazy here. 
That's so lucky. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the gift of sub. And I went to Ant. Ant is literally here in chat. Cherry pie prep? Oh, yeah. Um, wow. Am I really giving up all research? I think I have to for a little bit. Okay. Wait a second here. Wait a second. Wait a second. This whole lane needs to move. Swap prep with Affogato Frozen. Smart. Because Affogato is pretty fast. I, it doesn't really matter. They'll both be fine. Uh, actually, uh, it's, it'll both be fine. I'm sure. Copium. On to Hob. Hob this way. Okay, you go on this lane. This goes here. Bro. Yo, Bell Poppy, how's it going? Welcome in. Move my window hard to see what I'm doing. Probably can go up here. Okay, let's see. This here. Anything for you, Riz. Anyone else would have asked me, I would have said no. But for you, the world. Grabber? Grabber comes up. I'll just buy it. I mean, I have 2,300. What are we cooking on? Good question. <laughs> Actually, really good question. What are we going to cook on? Hold up. We got to roll here. So we can't hit safety hob, but we can hit some other stuff. Oh my god. Bell Poppy. You... I, I can't believe this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For the five gifted? Chat, can we please put a big old... Now get this. Put a flower in chat. A flower. For Poppy, right? Poppy's a flower? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, Bell Poppy. Not even subbed himself. Handed out five to the community. Holy moly. No, no, wrong flower, guys. I meant like... Like a plant? Okay, flower like the food. That's fine. <laughs> you know, I should be thankful for anything I get. You'd cry if someone told you to take down Cam while streaming? Um, I know chat says it out of love, so it doesn't make me cry anymore. <laughs> Are we re-rolling? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Lil Miss Sun... Lil Miss Sun Min. Thank you so much for the tier one. Bell Poppy. Thank you so much for the tier one as well. Oh my goodness. You made it to an It's GNG stream. You made it right in time. Welcome in. This is bad. Thank you for the followers, by the way, too. Uh, we got Arf and Rinny. Thank you so much. Welcome in all the new viewers and old viewers. Dude, why don't I... Okay, can we please all prage... Uh, hob. Prage hob. Prage hob. Prage hob. Prage hob. Oh, shit. Microwave. I'll take microwave. I'll take microwave. Better than nothing, right? Oh, God. That's going to be bad. Inflection of... Goes this way. Mixed. Oh my god, you have to cook this twice though. Holy shit, we're donezos. Does conveyor mixer turn into heated? Yeah, uh, no, conveyor goes to rapid, rapid to heated. Is that right, chat? Someone fact check me on that. How many extra TPs do we have? Zero? Oh, this is bad. Rapid mixer would be okay. Or sorry, heated mixer? Do I have a heated mixer anywhere? No? All right, let me build. Let me see if I can make something happen here.
What's the right of coffee prep? What do you mean? A, a smart crabber. <laughs> it reaches coffee table. Guys, I don't care about coffee table. I only care about these two. Take care, Psalm. Have a good one. Under lantern? That's a wall. Move cabinet on the other side next to coffee? Uh, no, it won't jump counters. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't jump. Okay. Oh, God, there's got to be a way. I need this to have... I need this to have... Two chairs and placing this. All right, fuck it. Who cares? It's fine. What? Does plant jump? No, plant is not making it there. I serve fast. I don't serve that fast anymore. My serve is pretty slow. I have calm painting though. It might be okay. All right. Shall we chat? Finally ready to go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Can you turn off chair in front of door? Who cares? It doesn't matter, right? Like, uh, I don't care that customers sit or don't sit. If they want to sit, they can. If they don't want to sit, they don't have to. It's okay. This should be good. Start cooking. Can you all please join me in a prage? No cherry pies. Not one, please. Not even one cherry pie. I hate teleporter here. It's so scary. I guess I can never actually accidentally serve it. No cherry pies. You turn chair on left front door. You could put plant next to table on left. I might even move my tables, honestly. Serve. Take the cherry pie back. No cherry. No! This is my worst nightmare. Double cherries. See, like, look how look how low that's going, chat. Who are these people? Lloyd and Bell Poppy. How could you? I thought we talked about this. Okay, now we need danger hobs and safety hobs. I think I actually drop, um, I think I drop casual nine, guys. So that I can start two separate tickers. Is it ever drop casual nine? Or sorry, whatever this is, nine? Formal, whatever, whatever we're playing, nine. I mean, one safety hob changes the, my entire game. Because I can always have at least one ready then. Do plants stack? No, plants don't stack. Uh, Mont, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A, B, C. Always be cherry, chat. Always be cherry pieing. Always be cherry pieing. The moment we stop is the mo moment we die. Affordable 9 has no known benefits. Yeah, this doesn't feel very good. Okay, sweats, do I drop a uh, affordable nine? Because then I get a delivery stage still. What's with the coffee machine automation? That's just the new way it looks now. Drop ordering terminal. Ordering terminal only works. Like you only get the negative when I use it. Maybe stop using ordering terminal so they have more patience. Okay, stop using ordering terminal. No more, no more. Especially at dessert phase. Agreed. Drop affordable nine. No more ordering terminal, please. Let's see the difference. I don't know. That's still pretty fast, chat. Metal tables plus... I don't know. 
Like, do I get another calm paint? Do calm painting stack chat? I'm pretty sure they don't, but I, I figured I'd ask. Okay. It's one per room. Got it. Okay, take this back. You. That's fine. Go ahead. Scorching, how's it going? What exactly is this game about? Wait, Mont, how did you find the stream if you don't know the game? What in the world? And you followed the stream already? Wait, where? how do we know you? Welcome in. Are you a dome keeper viewer? The soy sauce works. Oh yeah, soy sauce is popping off right here. High voltage. It works like um ketchup. If you've played uh hot dogs before. Thank you. I'm actually terrified. We're getting close to the end. I, I can feel it. I, I, I think, and I don't want to curse it. We might see the end of this stream. It's really on the, on the fence here. Maybe we'll play some Super Auto Pets after this. The new hard mode. I'm kind of down. I played so much cooking already, right? Why play another cooking game? Thank you. Gave you the notification of what Steven's viewers watched. Oh, that's Steven. What a nice guy. That's my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. What about Slice and Dice? I will never play Slice and Dice again. I'm actually sick of that game. It just kicked my ass so hard. You have heaps of random stuff I can get rid of. But what if I need it? Like, okay, so I know what you're going to say. Gavin, get rid of your soy sauce. That's step one. But I need it. Then you're going to say, Gavin, get rid of your pumpkins. Okay, I can't get rid of pumpkins. I can't get rid of pumpkins. Soaking sink? I could need it. You never know. What if we decide to take like hot dogs plus 30% and we need to fix our sink operation? I'm telling you, the moment we get rid of something is going to be we're going to be screwed the next day. I sound like your mother? In a good way? Auto plater? Okay, auto plater is extra. I'll throw away auto plater. I'm fine with that. That, 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 you're right, you're right. No auto player needed. Okay. We're actually so far ahead. Wait, now I kind of want to swap out affogados for cherry pies because that was a lot of effort getting these ready. But if we hit a safety hob, then I don't really care about cherry pies. What do soy sauce do anyways? You haven't seen it used. You haven't seen it because um, I've got it set up to automate, automatically serve. But when someone eats dumplings, they have the chance to ask for soy sauce just like ketchup and hot dogs. Uh, it is an add-on, unlike hot dogs where ketchups are right away. But... Uh, yeah. So so they're automatically grabbing it as they need. That's why it hasn't been used. Jack, how's it going? There's no way we throw away bins here. You're trolling if you think we throw away bins. Bins are useful for all sorts of sides, all sorts of mains. You should not throw away bins, especially compactor bins. Compactor composter bins are both highly, highly valuable. It'd be like throwing away a sink. Move tables left side and move coffee tables you mean right side right you understand why they give ketchup mustard is the only thing that you need on a hot dog 
ketchup and mustard together is the way to eat a hot dog. Onions on top, if you're gonna get really funky with it. Perchance a little bit of uh, spicy peppers, if you're feeling freaky. And that's a, that's a good hot dog. Why do I have two ice creams? Because I haven't actually gotten ice cream as a dessert and it's still possible. If I get ice cream as a dessert and I only had one ice cream, how would I do affogados and ice cream? Riddle me that one, my friends. Riddle me that one. Let's buy some of these tellies. I'm not going to be discounting anymore. Where's my auto plater? Move one to right fit something like that. Okay. No, if I move it one to the right, I have to actually rework a lot of this as well. So I don't think I, I feel like doing that. <laughs> I think I'm lazy. Where's that auto plater, chat? I want to junk it. Here. Okay, these are garbage. I am not denying. Hot dog, ketchup, crispy onions, peppers. I'm a, I'm a, I am love crispy onions. I could eat them by like the handful. There's been times when I went to Costco, bought the crispy onion like mega pack and ate it with a spoon. I'm not afraid to admit that. In fact, I admit it quite proudly. Uh, what else do I need? Okay, so I actually have enough here. So, what do you mean, you? It's like, oh, now you're gonna tell me you don't like onion rings? Second soy goes? No, we're keeping the soy. You're the soy. No, we also didn't hit our roll. Rip. How much is this one? 10 bucks. How much is this one? 79. Why did I not make very much money that turn? Because I didn't call anyone. Is calling really that much money on me? Okay, hear me out. Goodbye. Where's my call desk? I wasted one on a roll. That's okay. One roll. I need to see one um, hob. Top left. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to bring back my discount. Dis has the plan. How much reworking does it take, Dis? I don't know how much. I, oh, God. Uh, let me see. Actually, not bad. This is the same. This is the same. This, this is just a reworked dining room, really. And then you move turkey down here. And then pies here. Okay, so we do this when I get a safety hob. Deal? And then this is even better. There needs to be a redeem for me to delete something off my... Off what? Off my restaurant? You're crazy! <laughs> you think I'd let you guys delete something for our channel points? You're nuts! You're actually wild and kill a day 30 plus run? No, 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 no. You're crazy. <laughs> I, I, I would let you guys delete something off my desktop before I let you delete anything in this restaurant. <laughs> Heated mixer would help with pies. It would. Because I don't have to run over there then. But I don't have a heated mixer, guys. I'm not going to waste this one. I'm not going to research this. You give me 500 bits to get rid of pots? No. Because <laughs> that sets a precedent that I can be bought off. That I could throw a run for measly, you know, for what, American dollars? Where can you even spend those nowadays? Nowhere. I have two stacks of pot. I need the two. Don't you dare. I need the two stacks of pots, you piece. No, there's no amount of bits that would make me throw a run, guys. It's 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 not even in the question. Where's my integrity if I... <gasps> okay. I am a gamer. I took an oath, chat, that I would do nothing but deliver the greatest pogs and memorable plays and provide entertainment for the masses. So no, I will not be corrupted by your sweet siren songs of bits and subs. Throwing for bits is content? No, hey, no, you're right. Maybe it's just about changing my frame. No, no. What are you talking about, Gavin? Don't be Eve. 
Don't eat the apple. Just say no. It's just an apple. Who cares? Grab this. Hey, there it goes. Dude, that's so exciting to see it go around. This gets... This this moves once every three, four days. But when it does... Whoo! Choo-choo. That thing is a blast. Where's the just do it sound when you need it? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Let us delete something that is not run impacting. Believe it or not, everything in here is run impacting. Everything you see in this restaurant has a reason why it's here. We have very little surplus now. Every time I get rid of something, it's because I'm sacrificing. I don't want to have to sacrifice if not necessary. You're saying Gavin, copium. No, it's not. You don't need everything here. You do. Now I... You guys are making me sound like a hoarder. Okay, I don't have to justify my habits to you. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, this is what you're only, we're only reason why we're here, guys. Day 35 is because of hoarding. All right. If I didn't do this, we would never make, make it this far. So you're welcome for being a hoarder. You're welcome for having a bad habit. You're welcome for learning to love and not let go. Sue me. Gavin, show us on the collection where you were hurt. <laughs> uh, here. Okay. Everywhere. I've been hurting. The health inspector in Osho is going to have a field day with my restaurant. No, they won't because the roaches stay in their own little hidey holes. And the rats know not to cross into roach territory. Not since the roach war. Thank you. Hot take. I hate when songs bounce back between your ears. What's it called? Panning? I hate when they pan. Like this? Makes me feel like I'm shaking my head. Old man Gavin is no fun anymore. Yeah, that's right. Music's too loud and too, too in each ear. Thank you. Grab this. Serve it up. You know, I'm so thankful. Our, our, you know, I have an, a little bit older and more mature audience. Uh, because we dislike and like the same damn things. Right? I don't got to pretend to like Roblox for anybody. I don't got to pretend to care about Minecraft to an ex that, you know, a deep and existential situation. I don't got to care about Twitter. I come here and I do my shtick and I go home. I'm already home, but you know what I meant. <laughs> Thank you, grab these. I can tell you guys about my coffee habits and you can say amen, brother. Thank you, serve this up. True, true. Amen, brother. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Wait, we might actually do a day. I mean, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose to space. Cranberry. We're gonna. Uh, this might be a crazy day, chat. I I think we could do something big here. I'm feeling very hopeful. Not to toot my own horn, but maybe just one. Boop. Twenty-eight dollars a call. Okay, two. No more. No more. No more. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. It was actually fine. Whoever that was just got up without dessert. Don't tell them. It's the best part of the meal. But they didn't order it. Holy, my turkey is going crazy. Cherry pie, affogato. Cherry pie, affogato. I'm going to do like a major call at the very end here. To try to snake me 
a little bit extra. Actually, let's do now. Do now, do now. No, 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 no. We're two or two. Three? Three? Three or no? Three or no? Make the call now. No, 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 no. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Because three, I think someone would sit outside then and it's nighttime already. And these guys are still on cycle. I can still get two, I think, before the end of the day here. Let me just clear one table. Here, 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 here. <gasps> there we go. That's three. <clears throat> I have coffee table. I know. But even then, you just have to be careful when you call. It's so easy to lose these, like, very slow days because you get cocky and overconfident. I got to tell, tell you, right? Like, I've thrown so many runs. A lot of them, honestly, with Scooty. Because I think that, you know, two people, how do we lose here? And the next thing you know, the patient's at zero. The bars are all shaken, and I'm saying sorry. Sorry for messing up. I don't want to have to say sorry anymore. Okay, there we go. That was a great day. Great day. Here's what I'm going to do. Swap seaweed like this. Then serve seaweed from here. What happens if people want cherry pie but not seaweed? I guess we have to figure this out. When's the next duo day? I'm not too sure. Let me think. Grab a can. Put it where? Put it at my call desk? You're crazy. Put the seaweed in regular prep from the frozen prep. Okay. Get this guy a fucking gold medal. Why did no one say this? You're right. Just jam a bunch of seaweed into the normal prep station. <laughs> Alright, fail the prediction. What happened to ditching formal nine? I don't know. I don't know. I think we're gonna keep it. Didn't Scorching. This ran out. Eleven months pop. Eleven months. That is wild to me, Scorching. I can't believe it. Thanks for being a part of this community for so long. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You said put Affogato in there earlier. Okay, Dink, you're right. You're right. Okay, that's an improvement. We start here this time. Came from the YouTube. Happy you got a shout out, dude. Everyone gets a shout out. Does anyone has anyone here not had their shout out? You guys want to see something really fun? Watch this. I can shout you guys. I can shout out like a random chatter, and it tells everyone to follow them. If I do like shout out at Echo Six. Now it'll see like everyone follow Echo Six. <laughs> and then if Echo opens up his Twitch terminal like this, it'll say it's GNG shouted you out to however many viewers. <laughs> That's hype. I think it's sick. <laughs> Run it. I, I thought you had to be like, there would be some qualifications, right? Like, oh, surely you can't just shout out anyone. But nope, Twitch does not care. So, like, I can use this to get the attention, potentially, of some other streamers. And use it for nefarious purposes. I would never, though. I would never. Well, you finally have more than nine followers. Hey, you might get to ten. Keep those fingers crossed, Echo. And then you can kick off your Zwift... Uh, stream. And I would love to watch a Zwift stream. Shout out Amaranth. She doesn't need my shout out. She could give me one, man. That's the least she can do after I spent $48,000 last year. Ruined my relationship. Serve and get out. There we go. <laughs> Just kidding. It was 46,000. Thank you. 
serve. Dude, my dumplings look wacky now. I'm the one in the center, 70k. Dude, that was crazy. I didn't know you can send straight cash in the mail, chat. In Canada, I swear you cannot send like, like a whack load of money. How is that not federally regulated? It's a terrible idea. Oh yeah, that's, well, I mean like people cannot open your mail. They shouldn't be opening your mail. Unless there's suspicion of drugs, right? There must have been a time where it was the norm to send money in the mail like that, though. Because the mail has long existed before wire transfers. It's discouraged, but not illegal. Okay, so let's say I'm sending like 10,000 bucks in the mail and it goes missing. Am I, am I just screwed? And then did some mail person hit the fucking lotto? You're screwed just straight up? Whoa. Okay, good to know. Wait, why would anyone send money in the mail then? But the the mail people could take an oath too, <laughs> right? They, they, they are here to protect and serve? You certify it. Okay, so what does certify mean? This is like, this is the worst. This is Zoomers asking Zoomers about mail. We must look to our elders, chat. Uh, Please only reply if you're over the age of if you were born before 1990. You must remember a time before email. Sorry. If you've always known email to exist, then you got to keep quiet. Get on the sidelines. Cherry pie. <laughs> you say, wow, but this is like, you know, in times of curiosity, you must turn to the experts in the field. And I'm not afraid to admit that I'm not an expert in, um, in mail. Now, males, I could be an expert in. 28, you remember before email. Exactly. It's just a few years older than me. Not that much older. I was just a little bit missed the mark on remembering a time before internet. Like, I'd never remember having dial-up. Yeah, 26, and you don't remember before... And you don't remember a time before Gavin? Okay. <laughs> your parents send cash back to your grandparents in your home country in the mail? Wait, isn't that scary? That's what we're trying to figure out, Yako, whether it's really the right thing to do here. My friend shipped her sister a $4,000 bag and package. Of course, arrived without the bag inside. Holy. That is very sad. Do you remember when replies were added to the bottom of emails instead of top? I don't. Was that a thing? Why would they do that? So you have to scroll to the bottom? What the hell were they thinking? Thank you. Serve this. Serve one more. You remember being able to leave your front door unlocked 24-7? Oh yeah, I grew up not locking the front door. I can... I mean, that's not really um, a, a generation thing to me. That's more of like a location thing. Because I bet people, you know, in sketchy areas have been locking their front door since the dawn of time. Since locks existed. Why was the lock exist? Why was the lock invented? It's because someone broke the trust. Someone let themselves in when they weren't supposed to. Yeah, usually like Christmas birthday cards with small amounts of cash in the mail from family. Even a hundred bucks, I wouldn't feel comfortable sending in the mail. Because, like, you just... I just don't know. If you don't lock your door, people rob you. Insurance won't pay here. What? But how would they know that the door was unlocked? I guess whether there's signs of forced entry, right? I mean, honestly, chat. Someone broke into my grandparents' house. They stole, like, a couple thousand dollars worth of cash and jewelry. And the police didn't do anything anyways. At least we wouldn't have had to pay for, like, a window repair. <laughs> Thank you. Hire a locksmith? How about you hire the lockpicking lawyer and you employ his services to rob people? Wait. 
nefarious idea. Why don't you call a locksmith and just stand in front of a random house and be like, oh, guy, I'm locked out, man. So sorry. Can you come here and pick this lock? He picks the lock for you, you pay him, and then you rob that house blind. That would probably work, right? You have to prove you live there? Before or after he locks it? How do you... What, what, what if you say, like, oh, I left my wallet inside? Like, I got nothing on me. They require ID before? Do they? I've called a locksmith. I don't remember having... But it was for a car. Oh! Okay, Tegan and I got locked out of our car in, like, a Walmart parking lot. It was a Costco parking lot. I think I was late for stream that day. Um, and he didn't ask for ID. He just straight up unlocked Tegan's car and we got in and drove away. Now, obviously, it's like, what is Tegan doing, like, in a parking lot trying to rob cars? She doesn't look like the type. So, like, maybe she gets a little bit of privilege there. But I did think about it. I spend too much time at Costco. I go to Costco every week. I can't be helped. <laughs> we have two people in this house who eat... Okay, and I'm going to Costco. It's fucking crazy. <gasps> Chips. Free fifteen. Free fifteen. <laughs> 